Begin with David Cochran, who spent the day studying that big budget document. David, what stood out to you? Yeah, Andrew, it's the first budget in two years, the longest budget in history, and it spends big on getting through COVID and trying to launch the recovery. It's the first federal budget in Canadian history delivered by a working mother, and Krista Freeland went big on child care. Here is our goal. Five years from now, parents across the country should have access to high quality early learning and child care for an average of $10 a day. By next year, the goal is to cut daycare bills in half outside Quebec. The overall price tag, $30 billion over the next five years, $8 billion a year after that. First, we need to conquer COVID. On that front, an extension of the wage subsidy and the rental subsidy until September. The Canada Recovery Benefit is extended by another 12 weeks. Plus, there's a new Canada Recovery Hiring Program to subsidize payroll for new hires and increased hours until November. We must punch our way out of the COVID recession. That means ensuring lost jobs are recovered as swiftly as possible. While dealing with the COVID crisis, there's billions in spending and tax credits to deal with the climate crisis and create green jobs. Job growth means green growth. The cost of this spending is enormous. A $354 billion deficit last year, $154.7 billion this year, $59.7 billion the year after. The debt will nearly double to $1.4 trillion by 2026. Unfortunately, this budget does next to nothing to secure the Canadian economy. The Conservatives say this is just running up debt without giving people real help. But Freeland does target needy Canadians. There's a new $15 federal minimum wage, increased tax credit for the working poor, and a boost to old age security by 10% next year, starting with a $500 payment this summer. Enough for this budget to survive a minority parliament. But it is clearly irresponsible to have an election or to in any way trigger an election while we're in the midst of this third wave, the impact on people would be devastating, and we are not going to do that. Okay, so David, uh, clearly childcare, the centerpiece of this budget. How quickly can it be ready? Yeah, they want it pretty fast because the goal is to cut bills in half by next year. But, you know, all of this depends on the provinces coming on board. And right now there are still a lot of questions to how this is actually going to work. The key thing, Andrew, is that the federal money is on the table. Now the key players need to sit at the table and see if this can all work. Okay, David Cochran, thanks for all this. You're welcome.